Dating in LA has got to be one of the most mind-boggling things ever. Dating has always been hard for me, you know. It seems like it's easier for other people to like find their love made and just, you know, they date two or three people and they find the one in their set and that's just not, never, ever, 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 ever been my story. I've had to struggle. I've had a lot of difficult relationships. I'm exhausted. I'm a little, I'm tuckered out with the dating thing, so I'm not focused on that. But for those of you who want to find your mate and you live in Los Angeles, get off your smartphone. <laughs> get off your smartphone. I don't like Tinder. I don't like OkCupid for the reasons that I think that they promote this text-heavy communication. Pick up the phone and call. Go out and do stuff that you like to do. When you are focused on, oh, I need to find a man, I need to find a man, like that can envelop you and it can make you feel bad about yourself. Which means that you're projecting energy that is not good for the person that's trying to date you. If you're projecting des desperation, you're not going to find your ideal mate. Be honest about what you want, what you will not put up with. I think everybody needs to have a list of non-negotiables because it keeps you from dating any and every old body and wasting time and accumulating more emotional baggage from dealing with people that you don't really like. If you know you're a homebody that likes to stay at home, your ideal mate is not going to be somebody that's always in the clubs all the time and, you know, comes home at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. If you want your mate to be by your side, that's not going to work. Or somebody that has commitment issues and you're very family-oriented, you need your you and your man to build and he's not you're dating someone that's kind of skittish that's not going to work either so you have to be honest about where you are in life what you want what you absolutely will not put up with say what you mean and mean what you say i think on both sides men and women we don't always come out and say what we mean and we don't always stand firm in our word and regardless of what the other person in front of you is doing you need to be impeccable with your word. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you can't make it, communicate it. If you don't like something, say it. If you are appreciative of something that your mate has said or done, let them know. Because that's how they learn to treat you. By communicating with each other. That's how you learn about each other's likes and dislikes.